The Random Jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle. Tom Hill Nelson and Colne. On the rolling hills of Colne and Nelson in Lancashire, where the winds whispered tales of centuries past, the Chadwick family toiled in the shadows of Tom Hill. This land, known also as Castercliff, bore witness to the Eons, and its ancient secrets unfolded in layers beneath the surface. The Chadwicks were no strangers to hard labor, for their roots intertwined with the mining history of the 16th and 17th centuries. Coal, the black gold of the earth, was their quarry, extracted from the depths of bell pits that scar the landscape. These primitive excavations were like scars upon the face of the hill, remnants of a bygone era when men delved into the earth with crude tools and unwavering determination. A bell pit, a term echoing through the ages, was a simple yet arduous method of extracting coal and other minerals lying tantalizingly close to the surface. A shaft plunged into the earth, reaching down to the coveted bounty, and miners, like ants in an ant hill, hauled the precious cargo to the surface using archaic winches and buckets. The very name, Bell Pit, found its origin in the cross-sectional resemblance of the pit to a well, its widening base forming a bell-like shape. These subterranean chambers, born of sweat and grit, were a testament to the resourcefulness of those who sought the treasures beneath the soil. Yet, as with all things primitive, bell pits had their drawbacks. They were prone to flooding, lacking proper drainage systems, and their structural integrity was tenuous at best. The absence of support structures and the ever-present danger of collapse gave them a fleeting existence. The scars they left behind were depressions, like the earth itself sighed at the intrusion. Mining continued outward, heedless of the risks, until the cavity became perilous or collapsed entirely. Then, in a cycle as old as time, another pit would emerge nearby, and the dance with the earth continued. These bell pits, with their inefficiencies and impermanence, echoed through history from prehistoric times, through the Middle Ages and a handful persisted into the early 20th century. Amidst the echoes of pickaxes against stone and the creaking of winches, Tom Hill bore the scars of the Chadwick family's endeavors. The landscape whispered tales of perseverance and hardship, a reminder that the pursuit of earthly treasures, whether coal or something more profound, left indelible marks on the land and its people. And as the winds continued to carry the stories of the past, Tom Hill stood as a silent witness to the ceaseless march of time. By Donald J.